what's going on everybody so today i'm gonna show you how i go about weeding out my garden all right and the number one tool that i use is what i have it's called an action hole so you can kind of see how it looks you can see the the front of it it's got a sharp edge uh, and the reason why i like this is because it's lightweight it's efficient it can get into small areas once you learn how to really use the tool and another reason why i like it is because it helps me keep my back stressed down all right so a lot of times when we're working in the garden we're bending over it improperly or maybe you may bend at the knees for long periods at times you know your back may go out or your knees may start to ache and what this tool does is prevent you from having those issues and that's why i like it um if you know me by now you know that i like to do things manually you know that i like the the physical part of gardening um and i just like to work hard uh but anyway today we're going to weed out this six by 25 area of corn here i've kind of let it get lost a little bit as far as weeding goes and so today i'm going to show you how to use this action hole and uh you know hopefully you know you you may find it useful and you may want to get one um you can get them from walmart home depot uh tractor supply you know all those different type of stores so enough of me talking i'm going to show you this area we'll do it before we'll do uh you know i'll show you how i use it and then we'll do it after all right let's get into it so right off the bat you can see uh we've got weeds everywhere look at that weeds all on the edges all in the insides and so with this action hole we're gonna get rid of all these weeds now i have clay soil and uh i find that it, it works really great with the soil i have if you have sandy soil it definitely will work for you so um the the less compact your soil is obviously the easier it'll be to use this tool but we'll go ahead and get started so this is the area we're getting out here you can see weeds through here and all i'm gonna do is just pull back see just that simple just pulling back making sure i don't get too close to the roots and this is all we're doing just pulling back All right, now, if things get a little rough, when you pull back, you can go forward. If you wanna go a little bit quicker, you can go back and forth. All right. And for me, I like to switch sides so you can see I have my left hand at the bottom now, and now I'll reverse. That way I have everything evened out, using the muscles on both sides of the arm, not being too dominant. All right, so it's all about balance, back and forth. You can see even in the tight space areas like this, it can fit straight in between. See? Straight in between. And if you have to get close to uh, one of your crops, you can just kind of get close to it here and just clean it up just like that. Even if you want to save time, be a little bit more aggressive and go at a quicker pace, you can always go a little bit faster. Just be careful. All right. And this is most of the time the speed that I kind of go with because uh, I usually have busy days. So you can see we've cleared about seven feet worth of weeds in about 15 to 20 seconds. All right, we're just cleaning it up like so. All right, so now we'll 
look at the cleanup job we've done so far you see it looks a lot different than it did 10 minutes ago you can see all of the loose weeds here see loose weeds everywhere all right so now the crops will get a little bit more airflow you can see look loose weeds everywhere they're all in between the rows just everywhere all right so you can see the difference that it makes i mean look at this loose loose everywhere and again you know you can see the difference that it makes it does a pretty good job all right all right guys so uh one thing i did want to say before you use this tool in tight places make sure uh you understand how the tool works so that means practice practice in big open areas uh you know practice in areas that again has more space in between uh, and then once you you've got a grip on how this tool actually works um, then you can start to use it in tighter places because I will say uh, you can you can damage one of your crops if you get too close you can even remove them so again be careful uh, practice 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 uh, and then it'll come to you so just be patient well that's all I got for you guys today and I'm signing out